Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit in my sauna and you know what? I just got in here. I have about 56 minutes or it's already 131 degrees. And I literally, when I get in, I feel like it just changes. It changes my vibration for sure because the heat waves feel so good going into my body. It's wild. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so I started a series about the 12 spiritual laws. And um, I'm doing it because I need to remember all of them myself. Because I'm a really good manifester, but <laughs> life is a test, is a series of tests. And we come here to learn lessons. And the only real way to know for sure that you've learned the lessons is to be tested. <sighs> ah, the joys of the earth plane. And that's the trick, is to really embrace the lessons and embrace all the opportunity for spiritual growth and expansion of consciousness and becoming your higher self in the earth plane, okay? And so, understanding how the tests work, okay, is basically what the spiritual laws are about. How does the energy in this dimension work so that we can master these tests more quickly with more understanding, more grace, and less of the lower vibrational energies that come along when you don't follow the spiritual laws, okay? And so, <clears throat> and you know, r right now in the human uh, consciousness as a whole, we are all being tested, baby. And not just one or two of us either. I mean, all. Because the entire planet is going through so much energetic change, and so we're being tested as a consciousness and also individually. And so really trying to get to a point where you can handle these challenges and learn from them and grow immediately instead of resisting and fighting and going into a dark, dark space, you know, of victimhood and anger and regret and blah, all right? That's what this is all about, babies, okay? That's what the point is so we learn these things so we can really transcend quickly and not get bogged down in the crap bam all right so the next spiritual law we're going to cover today is number three the law of action and i personally have recently been really engaging in this because yeah you can do you know almost every other law in the 12 to try to manifest what you want. But if you don't do this one, if you don't go out and make it happen, like in the physical world, y y you know, you're just still creating in the higher realms. You're not actually bringing it into in the physical world. You know, you gotta engage in the physical world too. We are in a third dimension. Things are solid because of the low vibration, okay? But we create all the time in the higher vibrations and the higher realms energetically. Until they come from wavelength into particle form, they're still just in the ethers, right? So, number three is so important. It's like bring it into the physical, man. Even writing it down and or talking about it brings starts to bring it into the physical world what you're trying to manifest so in order to get things going you got to do stuff do things even if it's just writing it down or whatever you know bring it into the physical world world with action with physical action okay whoo doggy get busy <laughs> And so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to meditate for the rest of my time in here about what I need to do today. And I do have a lot of things to do today to accomplish um, the goals that I want to accomplish and to manifest what I want to manifest, what I need to manifest. Hello. <laughs> we all have needs, you know. So um, I hope everybody is learning from this. We're on number three. We got a lot more to go. And if you really grasp these concepts, man, you're going to just shoot to the top of the class. 
All right, everybody. Blessings to you. If you're struggling, breathe <sighs> and let it go. Okay. Blessings to everyone. Please subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe and like and comment and engage. I'm ready. Hello. Alrighty. Blessings, 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 and oh, peace.